What's up, my beautiful nieces and my handsome nephews? Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. In the collective, I meditated, and I'm going to get straight off into this reading. But I need for you to please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with your energy. So only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest for somebody else. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let that shit go. Now, when I was pulling the cards I collected, the first card that came out is the occult is doing spell work. Now, far as I see, far as I'm concerned, this is a group of witches and warlocks. And these witches and warlocks, they're secret witches and warlocks. And these are people, they get together. If they're not the witches that's doing spell work, these motherfuckers get together and they talk about people. They wish ill on others. They just, you know, they have darkness around them. And they try to send darkness to people. So if somebody out there, somebody secretly sent the hitman to you, right? Whoever this hitman is, this, this occult could be your own family. They sent the hitman to you. This family member is jealous of you. This family member has no identity. You could have a YouTube channel. Okay? You could have started this YouTube channel in 2019. And if you're a person who's motivational or you, you awaken people to the spiritual bullet bullshit out here, bullets, <coughs> then... Your family member sent a spiritual assassin to try to sabotage you, to try to stop you. Yeah, he's saying that. And whoever this, whoever this hitman is, spiritual assassin, whatever you want to call him, this person, this group, they hate you so much. This is somebody they sent into your life and, and you started seeing this person. You possibly, most, like it, most likely, ended up in a relationship with this person. Okay? And for some of you, I see the Eastern Stars and the Masons out here. So this could be, your, so you or your family member could be an Eastern Star or Mason. I see a Gemini energy out here and a Taurus energy. Okay? There is something to do with the underground facility. And it involves prostitution, human trafficking. Mm -hmm. Now this could have started for somebody in 2019. You you they may have you have you may have met this hitman in 2019. But see the reason they sent this hit, this hitman to you is because you're gifted. You know your purpose here on earth. You have a talent. We all have a gift, but everybody don't know how to use their gift. You're aware of your gift. And somebody in your family don't like that shit. This family member is jealous of you. Okay. Like I said, they could be a Taurus or a Gemini, or you can be this, you know, one of these signs. And see, from um, I feel like whoever this hitman is, right? He was sent in to sabotage you. It was a setup. But the cold part is this hitman has fallen in love with you. You know why? Because what what this group, this occult group, whoever the, the ring leader is. And I believe this is somebody's family. 
they sent this hitman in, knowing when you get in a relationship, you're intimate and all of this. So, this hitman was, was sent into your life to either, you know, um, for human trafficking, prostitution. They were sent to drug you in some sort of way, take pictures of you, you know, and make it seem like you're selling your body. Or they could be, you could be having sex with this person and you think it's you. They could be filming, um, taking pictures or something and posting this shit online. This is how scandalous these motherfuckers is. Okay, so you got to be careful. Whoever this, this hitman is, he's, he's someone that he's not well known. At least he wasn't. When he came to you. But the reason he's in love with you. Because you are of divine energy. You showed the hit man. That they sent towards you. Never experienced true love. Okay. They never experienced. Someone giving them attention. And affection. Right. So if this hit man. Was sent to. Take some pictures of you. They probably want to get this now. Get this hit man. Because whatever he was supposed to do, he didn't do it. Because he fell in love with you. Mm -hmm. Now this ain't for everybody. But it's for somebody. Okay. So I'm going to pull some more cards. Something could have happened in 2019. It's a secret code. Panda. Panda is a secret code. Okay. Now. You could have. Left this hit man alone. Because whatever it was. That he was supposed to be doing. It didn't work. This person was sent. See if, if they sent a hit man to you. And this is an occult doing spell work. Okay. If you're having sex with this person. And if he go back and he's. If you know how they show them. People in them, them, them cults and all of that shit. Having sex together. If you have a beautiful energy. If you're loving. And if you're beautiful inside and out. Somebody tried to do a glamour spell. See this hit man. These cult members, they have no identity. Okay? Nobody knows who they are. They do shit in secret. And again, it's because you're gifted. They ain't gonna go after nobody who ain't got, you know, who, who, who don't know who they are. They go after the awakened ones. And the reason they go after the awakened ones, because they want to put you back to sleep. Because when you're awakened... You alert other people. Okay. You teach other people. And this is what they, they don't like. Somebody is an Eastern star or a Mason. A rat. Dirty. Snitch. Somebody is toxic. Somebody is chewing bubble gum and blowing bubbles. Yeah, most likely. Most likely they they, they sent this this hitman for you. Somebody could have been born in 1987. This group could have been established in 1987. And this, this uh, occult is in some sort of underground facility is where they meet up. They meet up underground somewhere. They do glamour spells. Human trafficking. Prostitution is going on in this underground facility. Mm -hmm. See? A lot of fucking and sucking. Yeah. 
They nasty. But right about now, your ancestors are killing you. Okay. This person is your 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 ancestors looks at this this energy as a rat. They look at them as being dirty. They're toxic. And you're gifted. Mm -hmm. And the ancestors also look at them as they're nobodies. Okay. Dirty, snitch. They're, they're nobody. Okay. They want to make you look like a prostitute. Somebody could have been born in the 19th year, 1966, 1987. Something could have happened in 2019. Spirit, I'm asking for divine protection as I turn this message. So, whoever this is, a, it's a spiritual assassin that was sent into somebody's life, and it's a secret group of people that sent this this person to you. With the glamour spell out here, like I said, you must be beautiful inside and out. And whoever this, this is a family member. Now, this could be your own fucking family. Okay, they could be fucking and sucking each other. They could be nasty, or these could be family members that you say is family, but they're not blood related. For some of you, these motherfuckers could be blood related and, and fucking and sucking on each other. Okay, but they they wanted you to look like a prostitute. They wanted to to uh fuck with your beauty. Snake bites. So when I made that card, you know how a snake bites you. Snake bites look like vampire bites, right? Two dots appear in your skin wherever you've been bit, wherever you've been bit, you know, bitten by a snake, or if you've been bitten by a vampire. It's two fangs. They fangs, right? So. Either you was bitten by a snake or this person, this hitman. He could be the snake. He could be venomous. Okay? Or somebody actually could have gotten bitten by a snake. And the snake, you know, it represents a lot of things. It, it represents uh, poison. It represents... Um, Rebirth. It also can represent chaos and conflict, things to do with the underworld. It can represent um, magic. With some cards, have the snake, you know, um, with the sign of infinity. So this is somebody who's forever will be a snake. They're always gonna be. Wow. See, just what the fuck I said. This is your family members. Stupid motherfuckers. That's. That's crazy. This is your family members, the occult doing the spell work. So you have a ring leader in your family that sent a hitman to do some shit to you. But this hitman fell in love with you. They love you. Y'all know this this resonating with me. Damn. Fuck y'all. You going to hell. If any of my family members watching and this if this is resonating with you and you know you did some shit. Judgment Day will come upon you. Just know that. So there, there have to be. There's something about you, collective. There's something about me. What is, what is the family members jealous of? What are the family members jealous of? See, somebody, you may play an instrument. Um, you see how he's, that's some sort of harp he's holding. And, and he's running. Hold, somebody is trying to, some, oh, this, okay, now I looked at this one way. Now this could, for some of you, this could mean somebody, you may be a, a, a musical genius. You may play an instrument or something. 
And you could have somebody out there that's trying to steal your gift. That could be your gift. Okay. For some of you out there, there's somebody you're running from so they can't take your gift. And with all of them skulls out there, that's that's death. Somebody is, is trying to end something for you. Mm -hmm. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. Those flowers look like some, some flowers you see on the island flowers. Somebody could be um, Samoan. Okay. You see a Gemini out here. Taurus. So you have a gift. And that showed that showed me right here already said gift. Okay. So somebody is is you have a family member. But the crazy thing in my case, my family member, he's jealous of my gift or and and you know, at least I know it's more than one. But the main one that in my case that's you know trying to get the rest of my family to turn against me, the cult folks. You cult motherfuckers. Um, he got more talent than me. You should be asking him, why is he attacking me over my little bitty YouTube channel? Well, this motherfucker could have been up there playing for Snoop Dogg, playing, you know, for MC8, old school. He too old now. He 50. But you want to, you know, send people to get mad at me because what I'm doing now, you could have, you arguing over a house evicting me, kicking me out, and I'm still standing. So it's like, you're mad because you you had, you actually had the, the world in your fingertips because your God blessed you with the gift that you took for granted. Where you, you should have stayed in church. But you only went to church to get paid for them to play, to, to, to pay you. And then, you know, these are some of your family members may be musicians, collective. They may play play good instruments in a church like my sibling does. But this is a sibling who would go to church on Sunday. He never sat around and stayed in the church to listen to what the ministers were talking about or anything. Not trying to learn nothing. He just went to get paid. Okay, so this is this is what some of you could be going through. It could be a family member in your family. You know they got talent. You know they're gifted. You know they're blessed. They could be on drugs. Okay? But they're mad because they wasted their talent. And so they start manipulating people and, and being deceptive. Putting illusions in front of people about you. Because maybe now you're using your talent. Maybe you just become awakened to your talent. Your gift. I just became awakened to my gift about five years ago. Okay, and that's me sitting here reading cards and helping people, motivating people, inspiring people who has had their hearts broken and to give them a message. So when it said family, jealous family members is jealous. I'm sorry, that struck a nerve with me. Okay. Now this could mean some, some of your, your family members, they're doing spell work on you because you got a gift and they trying to take that gift away or they're jealous of that gift. They got a gift that they're not using. Somebody may be seeing a lot of dragonflies. Somebody is about to receive some money. Claim it. Okay. Yeah, some of you, this is this is with the Sisters of Harmony in Reverse. Some of you sung with your family members. And because you may, since you may like to watch tarot or you, you may read tarot cards. Uh, maybe you don't want to sing with them no more. Maybe you found out. That there is secretly devils. That they're witches. You could have once you became awakened to, to how spell work is done. You started exposing shit. And maybe they didn't like it because they was doing shit in secret. And you were spitting out shit about them. How witches gossip. 
how witches throw evil eye. You got people running around scared to put on the evil eye bracelet because they're doing this witchcraft. Don't you know that's what the whole the whole damn thing is to protect yourself from the evil eye. Whereas motherfuckers talking about you, wishing you fail, hoping your family fall apart, talking shit about you all the time, and then they wonder why shit start happening with them. That's because they sat there and they said a bunch of negative shit about you. Motherfuckers be losing their jobs, family members, cars and shit. You know, nobody wants to be around them. But they try to project that energy off on you by telling people you're doing witchcraft or this and that. But it's actually they motherfucking ass going around speaking. You know, they're speaking out to the universe when they're talking about you. That's negative. That's witchcraft, motherfucker. That's the whole thing. The world is is so fucked up to to what's really happening. They got everybody, you know. You think you you thinking because you see motherfuckers sitting up in church every Sunday that they they praising God. They don't know who they praise. Okay, I've been doing my research, and I done learned a lot of shit, and I'm still continuing to learn. I've been know that 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 Jesus Christ. I may lose some subscribers, but that's, that's not, that's not, that's, hmm. no, no, that ain't even the real description of how he is in the Bible. And then you can't believe what the Bible say now, because now everything, you know, is, is coming to the light. Things are being exposed. Okay. A lot of things is being exposed. You thinking that you just because you sit in church and they reading the Bible, the Bible has been tampered with. Okay, so you got to be careful. The pastors, you sitting up in the church and the, and the, and the, the pastors and the preachers up in there, they having a, they're, they're preaching against adultery, but they sleeping with Sister Susie. Greed in the church. That's the that's the fucking occult, and you don't know that you're a part of it. Me one more yeah so some of you out there um you may have some had a group with your family three sisters right and you could have you know you could be going doing something solo you're not singing with them no more you could have found out they was a witch or they saying you're a witch because you believe in spirituality we have the mother of all demons out here. Okay, so tell me about this jealous family member that's doing the spell work. So for some of you, this is your family members that's, that's you know, doing the spell work. It's the occult. It can be your friends. It can be co-workers. Something about P. Diddy. Oh, P. Diddy flipping out. Somebody may like P. Diddy. Somebody may be watching P. Diddy right now. Must in their face. Netflix and chill. Violating your sexual energy. Different. Rumors about them. Okay, so they could have sent a uh, whoever this spiritual assassin is or this hitman to violate your sexual energy. See, this is somebody they want you to fall in love with so this person can, you know, when you fall in love, you start doing things for people. And, you know, some people, they, I did myself. You end up not 
loving yourself. You, you start loving this person more. You start giving this person more of your energy and your time. Okay. And we're saying, you know, violate your sexual energy and different right next to it. Your energy could be different than whatever this spiritual assassin has ever experienced. Okay. You have divine energy. This motherfucker probably been having sex and, you know, doing shit with their family members or your family members. Your family members could have hired him. Is rumors about him. And they stay jealous of you because you're different. And you're gifted. Okay? Gift is under there. This person is abusive. This is a motherfucker in somebody's family that they want to control you. Um male or female but they ain't all what you what you think they are this is some shit that's being done in the secret sexy costume find every excuse to get away dick appointment Tell me more about this jealous family member, the occult, doing spell work. What else? Less important. See, they had whoever this person to come into your life. If you have a gift, like, like I said, you may be a singer. You may play an instrument. Something to do possibly with your church. And they send somebody into your life. To, you know, make you feel that whatever it is that you do is not important. But in reality, I see somebody out here who's a lead singer or you're the leader or something. Whatever you do, if you sing, um, you play an instrument, it's the lead. You may play the lead guitar. I don't know. But you, you or the lead vocal, something. But somebody wants you to believe that it, that's not important. Okay, somebody could mush somebody in their face. Somebody could have been in, in P. Diddy's uh, cult thing or something. I don't know. P. Diddy have a he don't got an occult, do he? I'm so I'm so tired of seeing it pop up on my thing. I'm sick of seeing P. Diddy on every damn thing. Okay, I'm tired of that shit. Government in the justice system. 1965. Aquarius. So we have Aquarius. We have Taurus out here. We have Gemini. So some of your family members could be one of these signs or all three. Because this is a group of people. Okay. Doing this shit. Why are they doing this? Why are they doing spell work? Two of Cups. Nine of Swords. For some of you, your, your family members, you could have a Two of Cups relationship. Somebody is jealous because you and your person is passionate for each other. You love each other. You don't lose sleep. You ain't stressing. You're not, you know, um, having no anxiety attacks and shit. Yeah. Somebody is jealous of that. If you're a female, they're jealous that you, you got a, uh, your man got some, some good stuff that you like to ride. Or you could have been telling this family member about you and your person's sex. Um, <clears throat> your male. You can, you can, you know, you can be well hung, you can be blessed, and you got a family member out there jealous. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, they jealous and they sitting there secretly thinking about how they can sabotage you. And this is this could be some of your family members that you ghosted. So they, if you're not talking to them, they could have set up some sort of spiritual assassin and come to you. Okay. Something to do with the government and the underground system. Somebody was doing something and they got caught. They didn't get away with it. You still got money. These are some backwards ass witches. Yep. Taurus out here again. They wanted you to be burdened, burnt out, but you're not. You got the will of fortune. Thank you, spirit. Yep. Identity theft out here. Somebody could have stole your identity or trying to. They losing money. For some of you, this is a family member who is always a bridesmaid but never a bride. She's never been married. She's always going to weddings and shit. This is somebody who you need to... Um, you need to do a little more investigating this person or these people. Because secrets is going to come out. Or you have. Y'all don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Whoever this energy is. These these people who send in the occult to you. They're, they're feeling stuck in the dark. And they stuck. Because this is something they've been doing over and over. And now they gone. Now they're losing sleep. Mm -hmm. Now they're burdened. Now they got you know. Now they burnt out. But they gotta. They gotta um, allow things to play out. This is their karma. They must go through it. Yep, they going through this shit. Some of them is losing their jobs and shit. Mm hmm. People are detaching from them. Some of you, this, this could be some sort of addiction. They could have addictions. Yeah, they thought you was going to be defeated. But you're not. They are. Wow. Yeah, you're, you're financially abundant. Yeah, you're blessed. You're blessed. Put it in the comments. You're blessed, baby. Yeah, all this money flying out here. Yeah, they whoever this is, they're they're upset because you wouldn't take a leap of faith with them. Maybe they wanted to, you know, sing and 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 hell go to America's Got Talent or one of them shows where you go and do the talent and and maybe they didn't they they could have either didn't want you to go or you didn't want to go. But the whole thing is you didn't need these people. They need you. And that's why they're trying to do spell work. They want to crush your gift. Because mm -hmm, they're jealous of you. You have the gift to, to do something by yourself. And this is why they wanted you. I see some divine feminine. Somebody got, you got, you, somebody just received the keys to a house, a home. And this, this is the backfire of their spell work. Mm -hmm. They tried to make you feel like you wasn't important or something. But I see you doing good. All this money out here. Coming. Nine of coins. Ten of coins. Well, nine of pentacles. Ten of pentacles. Ace of pentacles. Psh. Ten of Swords reverse. They thought they was gonna have you down. The devil is in reverse. They did some sort of some backward shit. And if it ain't backwards, it backfired on them. So if this haven't happened, and you have some family members that's of the occult doing some secret shit, this shit is about is 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 about to be returned to sender, or it's happening to them now.
pull from this deck and see if I can pull some names, some dates. Holy Spirit, show me. Something could have happened in August. banshee spirit see some of these people that's that's if they were secretly you know either this them or the uh spiritual assassin that they sent to you they try to they could have tried to send the banshee spirit to you or a banshee spirit is attacking them it could be a lot of whining or crying around them or they could actually <laughs> Excuse me, actually run into a banshee spirit. Somebody could have encountered a, a, a banshee spirit in August. We have irresponsible, a karmic feminine, the number six. Something could have happened August the 6th. Or June 8th. Your karmic member that's found that could be jealous of you is a feminine energy. She may like to watch P. Diddy or in love with P. Diddy or something. Rat snitch. Somebody is somebody has uh <laughs> snitched on, on P. Diddy. He could have something to do with an underground facility, it could have something to do with a cult. It's like magic. For some of you, it's like magic. If you had sex with this this uh, spiritual assassin, he says your sex is like magic. Now, you could have seen a banshee spirit after you had sex with this person. Um, a banshee spirit, look it up, okay? Google a banshee spirit. And from what I see, a banshee spirit is um, those ghosts and those spirits that you see. People show them on, on YouTube and the little TikToks and stuff where they're, they look like witches or ghouls or something. They female energy. Yeah. And they're, they're wailing or crying. We have the letter M, the letter J. We have addictions. Somebody could like Michael Jackson. Somebody's name could be Michael. Somebody's last name could be Jackson. This banshee, not the banshee, this uh, <clears throat> a spiritual assassin that your family member sent to you could have been, you know, was sent to you to try to get you addicted to something. Uh, they they wanted to sabotage your character to make you look bad because they jealous of you. Okay, and this is a family member, and and as the the original thing is the occult doing spell work. This this is some shit that's secret, that's hidden. So what they're saying, your family member is a family fucking member, a fucking family member. That's irresponsible. They could be seeing a, a banshee spirit now. They could have been talking shit, calling you a crybaby or something, and, and really some sort of way conjured up a real banshee spirit. Now they could be doing a lot of crying. Or they could be seeing these things in their dreams and shit. False reader. The letter L. Ghosted. So, with the ghosted out here, if it has to do with this spiritual assassin that was sent into your life, this person probably did ghost you. You could have fell in love with you and they fell in. They ghosted you because they didn't want the, 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 the occult to know that they didn't fell in love with you. So they ghosted you. 
Okay? And when they ghost you, it and, and you get upset with this person, you're probably, you know, talking bad about them or saying, oh, fuck them, and they did this and they did that. That was the whole plot. But this person, you know, this this spiritual assassin is in love with you. Even though he ghosted you. He said your poo nanny or your dinglingy is like magic. Okay. That's not for everybody, but it's for somebody. Spiritual protection I saw. See, and yeah, see, if if these family members are the occult and they secretly, they secretly doing spell work and they getting fucked up right now. Because if you're spiritually awakened, awakened, then you know they don't know that that you know how to use your third eye, you know how to protect your energy. To where anything they send towards you will be returned to sender. Okay. And see, what's going on with these? Somebody lied on you. Okay. And didn't I just say this? Whatever they're trying to do, it's in reverse. Because these people lied and said you was a witch. Somebody's name may start with the letter C. The number 5. Somebody's birthday could be August 5th. August 6th, May 6th, May 8th, something about a, it's a false reader out here, or if you read cards, they could be saying that you're a false reader, they lied and said you're a false reader, like me, they could be lying saying I'm a false reader, all because... Spirit shows me things that they doing and I ain't seen these motherfuckers in years. But they watch me. I know they still watch me. They watch me and they hate me. And they're hating. Because they're being exposed by the Most High God. And they lied on me. Somebody's last name may be King. Your last na name may be King. Somebody's last name may be King. A lot of one night stands. So whoever this family member that's jealous of you. They're irresponsible. They have one night stands. They have addictions. Um. They steal people's identity. They're probably known as a rat, a snitch, or they're dirty. They're toxic. Mm -hmm. This was what they was trying to say about you, but I see some of you out there owning your own property. You're, you're happy. You're good. Okay, you have the sun out here, and the sun represents success, radiance, and abundance. The sun gives you strength and tells you that no matter what you do or what you go through, your positive, radiant energy will follow you and bring you happiness and joy. Okay? And see, as long as you're keeping... You know, the, the, the bright and beautiful energy around you. These people is having nightmares and they losing sleep. Now, they could be having nightmares and losing sleep because they've been talking shit about you. Evil eyeing you. And they could be the demons that they don't realize when they talking shit. That's demons. So when you talking these words, just like you can see, you can watch, you know, the little cartoon things they have. Some be in commercials where people talking and they spilling the words and spilling out their mouth. Yeah, they spill and they spill spill words out their mouth, and they come in the form of demons because there is not love and light they're spitting out of their mouth. It's dark and evil. Okay, so this shit is coming back to them, and they having loose. They're having nightmares, and some of them is getting sick. Yeah, because everything they send to you is being returned to sender. Clarify sick. Some of them are spiritually sick, mentally sick, physically sick. Somebody could be in the hospital. Okay. But this is what they wanted for you. To either for people to look at you like you're a sick individual. But it's actually them. They the sick motherfuckers. Because you got you got victory and success. 
And I want to see you put it in the comments and claim that victory and success. Okay. Claim it. You're not sick. Okay. You don't have, you sleep well. See that Z? <laughs> you sleep well. You catch your Z's. Mm-hmm. Incubus male sex den. An incubus. See them sleeping together. Somebody, you know, they get sex demons, all of that shit. Karma. See? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They're sick. See? <laughs> mm -hmm. Somebody's name may start with the T. Tyrone, Teddy, Ted, Troy, Tori, Tracy. Somebody is sick. Marvin, Michael. Leslie. I hear John, Jason, Jacob, Jason, Jennifer, Jeff. Trinity. Here, trike. I don't know who would name themselves trike, but that's what I heard. You. Mutt. <laughs> Somebody may, you may consider this person a mutt, or they could be the mutt in the family. You know, I got to actually see what the what they what Google says a mud is because as far as I know a mud is is a, a a scroungy dog that nobody wants. See, this is how they wanted you to be to look like a mud. Whoever this energy is that they tried to send to you, this spiritual assassin that your family member sent. Yeah, your family member sent this person to you. Maybe this person is a mud, and they wanted to to put that energy. For you to be a sick mud, or they could be a sick mud. Yeah. Somebody, you know, somebody wanted to steal your identity and try to be who, who you are. But they can't because you're spiritually protected. Okay. What else? This is a, this is a, a, this person is, has a, it's the incubus has a, a sex demon. And now they didn't either got sick. They could be, they could have worms and shit. Something about Ju um, July. July 8th. Somebody's apartment number could be J7, T7, L7, M7, M8. Seventy-eight. Somebody could have been born in 1978. Somebody is popping pills. X pills. Somebody is popping X pills. Somebody popped some, got some X pills, and I, I heard they they ordered that shit online, and they gave them worms. Mirror magic, and that's karma for them for them doing some shit to you. Somebody is addicted to to X pills. <laughs> yeah, they addicted to X pills, popping pills. Thank you. 
and and ain't it ain't it some ain't it when it when it comes to the aquatic industry i think there's some sort of there's some sort of fish fish pills or something you put in the water for certain fish i can't remember i, I remember something like this something with the worms and and they they when you put them in the water something but somebody they could have ordered thinking they ordering some some x pills and they they <laughs> they gave them some pills for worms or something this is karma things unseen. Yeah, they getting karma because shit they was doing in the dark. Cloaking themselves. They was doing candle magic to a divine feminine. So divine feminine, this is your family member. Now it could be one, one family member that got three or more of your other family members. Now they could actually be doing some spell work or they could just be talking shit. Either way, it's spell work. Okay? It's negative energy. It's low vibration. You see how that... You see... I watch these... Jellyfish. Look how that one is hanging on to the other one. Like you're trying to get away, and and he's trying to hold was trying to hold on to it. Sometimes I just look at the jellyfish and and you know I get little messages. Now it could be somebody out there. They could be trying to tire you out, keep you down. Yeah, they don't want you to reach to the top. Every time you try to get up, here they go trying to look out. Look like didn't it look like it was grabbing and trying to pull it down? Somebody got long legs. You fall down, but you get back up. Yeah. And when you, it's like when you, <laughs> I'm looking at these jellyfish, y'all. <laughs> I know they can't get out, but just imagine if they could get out. It's like one is blocking the other one so he can't get out. If I can't get out, you can't get out. If I stay down, you stay down. If, if you go up, you got to take me with you. If, if I can't go with you, I'm going to pull you back down type of energy. These are family members. They tiring themselves out trying to keep up with you. See how that one is just sitting there? Look. Some of these people have left you hanging. You thought you could depend on them and you couldn't. And these are your family members. So, my beautiful nieces and handsome nephews, did you like this reading? If you did, um, put it in the comments below. If it resonated with you, hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed already, go on here and subscribe to my channel and share this video with somebody else okay if you don't want to share it on your social media you can share it with, with, with one of your friends at work somebody who you trust somebody you can share it Shit, you can share it to send it to your enemy letting them know he's been exposed all right and if you're interested in a personal reading the information is in the description box below. And if you're interested in purchasing a spiritual protection package from me, which comes with if you order a spiritual protection package from me, you get these crystals. You get a little bit of sage and palo santo.
you'll get an evil eye bracelet. And you'll get a candle for your third eye, um, crown chakra for all of the chakras. This one is for your crown chakra. Okay, it says passion fruit. It smells like passion fruit. But it's for your crown chakra and for you to get clarity and understanding. So if you just want to purchase a candle and you for, um, they'll most likely, unless you request a custom made one, I'll, um, they'll most likely, they'll come with the, the clarity and understanding for you can get clarity in your situation. Okay. And these are the crystals that I give to everyone in their that orders a spiritual protection package. Okay. While supplies last, I'm almost out. So you guys need to go on and hurry up and order and get them. The same ones that I have right here. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? And these are real authentic crystals. Okay. So you'll get these four big beautiful crystals in the spiritual protection package. You'll get an evil eye bracelet. Okay. And you'll get these, these small crystals. You can use these crystals. You can either put them in your pocket. You can infuse your water with it. You, you get a bottle of unopened water and put these crystals around it before you go to bed. And the next morning, you get up and you drink that water. You don't put the crystals in the water. You just put it around the bottle. Okay. And you wake up the next morning and you'll feel vitalized. Okay. Um, you'll have more energy. Um, you'll feel successful, happy, you know, radiant. You'll just feel good. You'll want to get up and, and clean up. You may get up and just clean the house up or do something you said you was going to do. You've been supposed to have been doing some spring cleaning and it's wintertime and you still ain't did it. Or you may just get over somebody who hurt your heart. You, you may just not feel hurt no more. You know, these crystals will help you, Okay. And they also protect you from the enemy and the enemy attacks. And it, this will come with a candle and it also come with a spiritual bath mix. Um, it'll come with the spiritual bath mix. As you can see, y'all, I use my products. I make these, okay? And this is what... I put in my spiritual bath mix. They come with different uh, flowers and um, dried flowers. But when you get in, put them in the tub with you, they they feel just like they go back to the regular flowers. They're just dry. But yeah, you'll get that um, while supplies last for forty four dollars and forty four cent. So if you're interested in purchasing one for me. Then go ahead and inbox me, and um, we'll go from there. Or you can cash at me and tell me you want the, the spiritual protection package, and you uh, send me your mailing address so I can mail it off to you. And I thank you all for your support. Also, if you want to order a uh, throw their ass in the tent, Karmic Circus t-shirt, you can inbox me. Now, um, I have for the ladies, and I have them for the men. Um, the uh, I have the tank shirts, the wife beaters, and I'm even thinking about doing a whole nother design to be able to make some like jogging suits, you know, to have them printed on some of the thin for the ladies. You know, um, you know how y'all do it, ladies, how we do it. Something, you know, that's that's skin hugging, but you could still, you know, have that patch that say throw their ass in the tent. And if you don't know what the t-shirt looks like, you can just click on my channel and where you see the um all the, the, the thumbprints, that's all the same, that'll be on the on the hoodie and the t-shirt. So if you want to order one from me, 
then just inbox me at pinkscorpionintuitive at gmail.com. Cash at me at uh, Scorpions Queen. PayPal me, Pink Scorpion 66. Okay. All the information is in the description box below. And if you guys want to send me cards or gifts or anything, um, I do now have my P.O. box active down there. So you can, you know, you can write me a letter or whatever, you know, do what you do. Just don't send me no hate mail. Okay. So until it's gone, stop this reading right here. And if I helped you in any old sort of way, you can help me out by hitting that thumbs up button, ordering something or purchasing something from me. I haven't gotten my website going yet. All of that's a little hard for me to do right now. I used to be a uh, used to be able to do a lot on the computer, but it's just it's just so much now. It's just it's just too much. So I still do stuff the old school way. So I'm snail mail and all of that. So support my channel. Hit that thumbs up button and make sure you hit the notification bell and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I want to say I love you. I wish you all the best of life, love and light to each and every one of you. And I'll see you in the next reading. Peace out.